I developed a really big passion. How could I ever compete with somebody like that? And at the time, that was good enough for me. But I got here. <laughs> Hey everyone, how's it going? Guys, there are a lot of building works going on outside my flat. I don't know if you can hear any of them. It's so unbelievably annoying, but we're just going to power through. I hope you don't mind. So today I received a question from one of our friends asking me why I want to pursue medicine as opposed to any other healthcare profession. And you know what? That is an excellent question. So I'm going to read out exactly what our friend said and then I will answer it. And this is by Pharmacon RX. Always a pleasure listening to your videos. Thank you very much. Can you tell us why you are not thinking of other healthcare professions like pharmacy or nursing and becoming a pharmacist researcher? We can see patients and do research as other healthcare professions can. Why are you particular about only being a physician scientist? So, before I answer that, I just want to give you a little bit of a background just to make sure everybody's updated, especially if you are new. So, this is my general trajectory up to the point I am so far. I studied biomedical sciences for my undergraduate degree at Newcastle University, and after taking a year out after my degree was completed, I then went on and studied a master's, um, a research master's to be specific, at King's College London, and that was in translational cancer medicine. After my masters was finished, I managed to get myself a job as a research technician um, working again within King's College and I work on a variety of different solid tumours such as ovarian, melanoma, breast, etc. And I love where I am right now but my ultimate goal is to work at this job for two years which is what my contract is for and then hopefully go on to pursue graduate entry medicine. So to answer your question, why did I decide to choose this trajectory as opposed to for example going into any other healthcare professions or going and doing medicine right at the beginning. So let's rewind a little bit to when I was 17 and I was choosing what to go and study at university. Even back then, before I had made the decision, I knew that I wanted to do medicine. I couldn't exactly tell you why, I couldn't really comprehend it in a, in a way that um, I could translate it to other people. I just knew that I loved science, I liked a job where I get to work with people and that's just what I wanted to study. But there were a number of things that kind of happened and were going on around that time which led to me applying for biomedical sciences and not medicine. One of them being the fact that I was worried about my grades. Um, I ended up finishing my A-levels with ABB and I knew, I knew that at the time a lot of universities for medicine wanted AAB or AAA or A star AA or you know as high as it gets basically. In addition to that I think I doubted myself a lot more and I don't think I was mentally in that stage. I remember one particular experience when I had arranged to go and shadow a doctor at a hospital and this doctor was kind enough to take me in and he said to me bring in your CV for one of the days and we can start looking through it. Now he brought it, he looked at my CV and immediately he was like you seem to do so well in your GCSEs, what happened to your A-levels? Bearing in mind my A-levels at the time were around ABB which although they're not straight A's I don't think they're bad and I think saying that to quite an unconfident 17 year old kind of knocked me even more and I didn't really have the emotional maturity to recover. The next thing he said when he was looking through my CV was, well, do you play any instruments at a high level? And I was like, uh, no, not really, I'm art is more of my thing. And he was like, what about sports? Do you play any team sports? Again, I was like, no, I mean, I, I do trampolining, I do things like that just for fun, but nothing competitive. And then he kind of was like, mm, right, mm, okay, right, okay, I see, I see. And when I asked him what the issue was, he said to me, well, you know, in order to get into medicine, you really have to have a competitive CV and having high level extracurricular activities really help. And again, as a 17 year old who is kind of just still going through that awkward teenage phase and I don't really have that self belief in myself. That was again a really big knock. And let me be clear, I'm not shedding the blame on anybody. What he was sharing with me was his truth and to a degree, yes, he is right, you do have to have a really competitive CV. But nonetheless, 
that knocked me a lot. And it especially knocked me because there were a few other people in my year who wanted to study medicine at the time. And I remember one particular girl who was so unbelievably confident in everything she did. And I remember looking at her and thinking, how could I ever compete with somebody like that? She's so assertive and she's so confident. And you know, she seems to believe in herself so much. As a point of reference, I should say that that girl it didn't, in fact, get into medicine, and I don't think she's doing medicine now either. But still, looking back, I remember feeling so doubtful. Anyway, to get back to the main part of the story, I essentially decided that, you know what, medicine is probably not for me, um, you know, I'm not confident enough, I'm not ready, I will just go for biomedical sciences because I still love the science aspect of it. So in that sense, I might be sacrificing the people side, but I still get to have the science. And at the time, that was good enough for me. And this also brings me to your point about nursing. So for the same reason that I didn't go into medicine because I wasn't confident enough to talk with people, I was quite shy, I wasn't very outspoken. I'm not really that outspoken now, but still I have the confidence to say something if I feel like I need to say it. And it was for those same reasons that I decided not to pursue nursing and I decided to go for the science aspect. And I have to say that I loved it. There were so many ups and downs with my course, but generally I really, really loved the content and I loved the things that we learned. Now, to address the other part of your question where you were asking why not go into pharmacy, I remember that when I was deciding on um, studying biomedical sciences, I specifically chose that because I was a lot more interested in the human body and disease and how the human body goes wrong as opposed to learning about drugs and chemistry and learning about how we create drugs and treatments. And it's because of that reason that I decided not to go towards more of the pharmacy route although it was something that I definitely considered. In fact, even when I was studying for biomedical sciences, we did have a pharmacology module, but even as I was studying for that, I remember thinking, you know, it's not really for me. I'm not that interested in the biochemistry. I'm not that interested in drug structure. What I'm really interested in is the human body. And while I was undergoing my undergraduate studies, I developed a really big passion for molecular and cellular sciences. For example, how pathways can go wrong to lead to di disease, how aberrant cell signaling can lead to cancer. And when we had a cancer of biology, I mean, sorry, a biology of cancer module, I loved it. And because I enjoyed it so much, I thought, you know what? I really, really want to find a lab placement where I can learn a bit more about what actually happens in cancer research. And luckily for me, one of the principal investigators slash lecturers got back and he said, yeah, of course, come into the lab and you can do a mini project with us. Now, I will never ever forget him or his team because I was a nervous wreck of a person, messing up experiments, but I learned so much and I can really say that everything that I am right now is because of the experience that I had then and how hungry it made me to push myself forward in this field. So I have to say I will forever be grateful for those eight weeks. Now let's fast forward a little bit to when I came to London to study my masters. Something I learned very quickly is that no matter how much research actually goes on in the lab, there is a really big lag time between what we discover and that discovery getting into the clinic and actually starting to help patients. And now this is why my course or my master's course was constructed. It was called translational because the aim of the course was to train scientists to translate the medical information we have into the clinic. And because of this, I was once again very fortunate to work with a clinician who specialised in breast cancer. And because of her, I got the opportunity to go and sit in in some clinics and actually see patients and talk to them. And it was absolutely amazing to me to see that how a clinician can treat patients and talk to them and, you know, fulfill that doctor role and at the same time be involved in carrying out research on the patients that she has and working on clinical trials and to me it was just seemed like the best kind of job or career trajectory. And lo and behold, my love for medicine was reignited once again and it started to remind me of like the love and the passion that I felt for it when I was 17. Except now I can verbalize those feelings and I can share with you 
that this is why I want to do medicine. It's not just a feeling anymore. And to me, that's really amazing because I really feel like I've gone a long way. But I got here. <laughs> Better late than never. So once again, to go back to your question, I want to become a physician or a medical researcher because this is just the trajectory that I've come down. I am here now as a result of all of my experiences kind of building on top of each other. And this is my journey, I've taken these routes. And um, that's not to say that there's anything wrong with becoming a pharmacist researcher or going to nursing. Those are all amazing. But for me, I want to become a medical or a physician, physician researcher because this is where my journey has led to. And it seems a little bit silly, but the analogy that I like to think about when I'm trying to describe to people why I want to follow this path is like this. Being a physician and doing research for me is the perfect yin and yang. It's the perfect sandwich. It's peanut butter and Jelly. And let's give this video a thumbs up for comparing medicine and research to peanut butter and jelly. Or peanut butter and Nutella, I don't know. Whatever you like. And I really hope that answered your question. Thank you so much for watching my lovelies. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also subscribe if you aren't already. And make sure to click the little bell icon so you get notification every time I upload a video. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And until next time, take care and I'll see you later. Mwah.